Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at 14 legend teams actually for the Jungle Cup. Or like it's not always legend teams, it's also some teams that I got to rank 1 in the world as well, which is going to be also of course very interesting to take a look at. So you can freely copy those teams, they're all definitely going to work because people are legend with them, so feel free to do that. I don't know if you want to have one as well for the Master League, Master League going to be available for one week here now as well. Um, let me know in the comment section if you're interested in the Master League as well compared to this cup. I actually like this cup quite a lot but of course we are now in the second week so it might be a little bit less interesting for you but let's move right into it of course if you have not subscribed and you enjoy those type of videos feel free to subscribe and we can move on to the first team first team here going to be three people hit legend with like similar different kind of variations of it it's kind of a similar style anyway either you go for shadow drag knight in the lead or the altaria in the lead vigorous say stop and then you have an answer in the back against potential fairy type pokemon it can be talonflame it can be skarmory both of which are going to be totally fine also of course all the time um the twitter handles are going to be on the top left corner for those people so if you search for those names you want to see the people that hit legend slash rank one in the world for example that boy jay which you saw already yesterday evening if you saw the video already about the Dragonite Shell Dragonite team like otherwise look on my channel um going to be definitely a good video for sure as well to try to learn this team but otherwise you're going to see here the team that that boy Jay used which is going to be the Shadow Dragonite figure of Intel Flame solid team for sure but we can move on to the next one next one going to be Kind of similar, again we're going to have the core of the uh, Skarmory and the Shadow Dragon Knight here, but in a different way. Here you kind of want to stay in in the lead, as you can see already Skarmory is great at winning leads. It's a little bit tricky to play it out if you encounter a Lantern in the lead, I would say that you swap into your Dragon Knight with that, but basically you kind of want to align yourself and then try to align your Pokemon as well with the Decidueye and the Dragon Knight. I feel like this team is a little bit interesting because you're going to have some struggles against Steelix as well as Skarmory as well, which is interesting to see him, but they got a legend with this team, so definitely interesting there to see as well that Decidueye got a huge buff as well recently in terms of usage, which is kind of funny, so yeah, Decidueye seems to be a very solid Pokemon, which you see in some other teams coming up as well. Next one. This team is something I kind of want to try out myself, to be fair, because we want to have a team here that has the Denny on it. And the Denny is a Pokemon that we haven't really seen for ages. And so this team is something that's kind of interesting. I'm not too sure if they used Shadow variant of Quagsire. I like the Shadow variant a little bit more in this meta. But the Denny lead, um, the Quagsire as a say and Pelipper in the back. Looks like a lot of fun, I have to say. Um, Pelipper going to be a little bit better against Steelix, which is the main reason why you use it over something like a Mantine, even though Mantine now has Water Pulse as well, so Mantine would be a decent alternative as well. But very interesting. You lose to a Bummer Snow lead for sure, but that someone hit Legend with a Dedenny is kind of wild. So maybe you want to take a look at this team as well again. We have to see about this, but we can move on to team number four. We're going to have a team here that has also something interesting. We're going to have a team here actually with a Licky Tongue that you can use as well. I would imagine like they used both teams basically for hitting Legend. I would imagine that if you are running Licky Tongue, that Licky Tongue is your closer and not your safe swap because there are too many Vigoroth around for that. So you would most likely go into Gaslord, which is better against Vigoroth than the Licky Tongue and have the, Vig uh, the Licky Tongue in the back with it. But here, of course, Gus Lord is actually a very scary Pokemon for this matter. I didn't really expect too many to see too many of them, but actually I saw quite a lot of them recently. So definitely a Pokemon that kind of gained some popularity recently as well. So for sure, something that you can try out here as well. Very kind of basic team. Of course, also Gus Lord is going to be great against Pokemon like the Lantern, which is the biggest threat to the Mantan, which does make quite a lot of sense. So, moving on, we're going to have a team here that also I saw a lot of people copying with the Whimsicott, Talonflame, and Lantern. Kind of similar to what I also suggested in my top team video. If you haven't seen this one, if you need some more team ideas, I made a top team video before the cup started. Um, I suggested basically as a say stop, just mainly for meme, um, the Charizard, which most likely would work out pretty well as well. But Whimsicott, Lantern, and, and Talonflame is kind of nice together. You kind of want to most likely try to stay in, in the lead, use your Lantern as a say stop if needed, and then have the Talonflame to sweep and Game, which does make quite a lot of sense as well. You're going to be pretty weak against Skarmory in the lead, so you have two great answers for this in the back, which is seemingly a very solid team, and a lot of Pokemon are quite weak to Whimsicott, so this team definitely seems to make quite a lot of sense. So we're going to take a look at the current rank 1 in the world team here at 3300 ELO range, which is kind of wild, like really high up. We're going to have Obama Snow, the Vigoroth, as well as the Lantern. I'm most likely, when you see this video, already streamed with it, if everything goes to plan. So um, this team going to be a very strong one. It's going to be one that I would really recommend you to try out, because it's a very, very 
easy one to play that is very straightforward, that seems to be very decent. A little bit of an issue might be Vigoroth here, I have to say. Um, you're going to have a lead that's weak to it and your own Vigoroth, which is weak to it. But um, Lantern in the back is kind of solid still again. So, like, this team is basically perfect. Like, it is, it is what it is. But you know what's also perfect? The next team, which is basically the same team in reverse, which two different people here kind of used. Like, um, the one with Kotsai was actually something that I suggested on the uh, top teams as well. I think I actually suggested both of the top teams. I think also with the Lantern lead. I think I have literally this in the top team video as well. Um, I also got tagged by Pogo Gerald for the suggestion for this team, which he got to Legend with, which is kind of cool. So, shout out to you. But, um, yeah, this team is basically the same as before. I feel like this might be even a little bit better because you have a little bit more control against Vigoroth to have the Lantern in the lead but of course the one prior hit rank one in the world so it's definitely a solid and proven team but yeah basically in the core of lantern and um above snow gets also a lot more popularity recently there's not really a great core break i think for this um licky tongue it says here but the rest is kind of always losing towards it so it's basically a perfect core to have lantern and above snow together in one team Team number 8, we're going to have the Shadow variant of the Steelix here. There is a video about this team as well already on my channel, so definitely check it out. We have the Dragon Tail Crunch Psychic Fangs variant of this. We're going to have the Vigoroth as a say swap, and we're going to have the Altaria in the back. Great team. Um, I had great success with this team. You can also use Manta in the back as well if you want to, but this team definitely works out pretty, pretty well. Would recommend you to try it out. Was a lot of fun to play and worked out super well. So definitely something that I would suggest you to try. Team number 9, going to be a wholesome team, which is, I guess, kind of similar to a team that we had prior, but with instead of the um, Lantern Elite, we're going to have here the Talon Flame in the lead, which is interesting. Um, he hit Legend with us kind of early on into this cup, so shouts to you. Also, follow him on Twitch.tv, because he's a very good streamer as well for the game. Definitely shouts to you. Um, yeah, one of the best streamers for this game, for sure. But yeah, you know who you also should follow? Definitely the next person, which is me, myself, of course. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and leave a like because there's going to be my legend team next. Um, this legend team is kind of interesting. I kind of did really want to hit legend without Vigoroth in the Vigoroth Cup. And so I tried to make something a little bit more funny and a little bit more spicy. Haven't really seen anybody use Magnezone um, this far in the season as well. And like Magnezone was a lot of fun as well for this cup. So this team definitely worked out kind of well. Again, you can use Steelix instead in the lead as well, which I suggested in the video that I did about this team as well. Check the video out if you want to see my Legend run. It was actually 21, oh, 21 minutes long, so you have a little bit more gameplay there as well for this cup. But yeah, the CGI was the MVP for this team most likely, together with the Quagsire. Like, I enjoyed Quagsire quite a lot in the Go Battle League recently since the Aqua Tail buff, because you have great pacing with this Pokemon. So if you go for a Stone Age, you only need three more Fast Moves to go for another Aqua Tail, which is just catching so many people off guard and having the coverage of stone is just so great so quagsire i actually enjoy more than whiskash recently just because you're kind of more consistent as well and you don't rely on getting the debuff or not so this pokemon a lot of fun to play this team worked out pretty well for me as you saw of course by me hitting legend with it very cool team for sure and we can move on to the final one for today the final one is going to have a little bit of a different playstyle here as well to it. We're going to have the Vigoroth in the lead, we're going to have the Talonflame and the Obama Steel. You might wonder what is going to be a say swap. Like, I don't know how they actually played at the end of the day, but I think there is no say swap. I think there is literally no say swap on this um, team. I think it is just going to be Vigoroth going to be trying to win the lead for you, which it can do in the two shield scenario against basically everything in this meta. That's why everybody is running Vigoroth. And then you can try to align yourself with Talonflame and Obama Snow, which does make quite a lot of sense, because if you take a look at it, there are not really a lot of Pokemon that can break that core. Vigoroth can be a little bit of an issue, I have to say. I played a similar team as well, where Recently, which was the rank one in the world team prior with the Dragonite instead and the Talonflame in the back and the Vigoroth as a Seisop. So very similar to this one, just in a different order and with the Dragonite instead of the Obama Snow. But basically that was already feeling a little bit weak against the Vigoroth, which I didn't really enjoy too much. And I feel like this might be an issue for this team as well. But otherwise, if you can win the lead, you can align yourself and you can win the game. It is kind of a decent team here. Yeah. For Obama Snow, for this meta as well, I am not too sure if people are running Icy Wind over Weather Ball. I like Weather Ball more. I like the normal variant of Obama Snow more than the Shadow variant. And it is just because you can see it here on the screen even. You have Pokemon like Altaria, which you're going to be able to one-shot with a Weather Ball. You have the Swampert, which you can one-shot with an Energy Ball. You have the Stunfist, which is going to be great for you as a matchup in general. Basically, all of the matchups that you have, you don't really need the Shadow Bonus for because you're one-shotting everything anyway. Because so many Pokemon 
are um, having a double weakness against you. So definitely something that you should um, try to use as well. Like I really like the normal Obama Snow in this current meta. So this is going to be it for this video as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully this helps you. And I hopefully see you in the next one. So see you then. Bye-bye.